Jumping into the tiger enclosure at your local zoo is stupid! Average dude has something to say about... Uh, I remember the time when we actually had uh, intelligence. Uh, oh, God. Okay, today's episode, episode 24, uh, dealing with the New York man who jumps into a tiger enclosure at the Bronx Zoo and survives to tell about it. Uh... 25-year-old David Villalobos, idiot extraordinaire real estate agent. Yeah, this is someone who you want to uh, be talking to you about realty, right? He goes to the Bronx Zoo, gets up on this uh, monorail system. I don't know how in Sam Hell he got up there, but he jumped 17 feet down into the tiger enclosure because he had a premeditated plan. I, his Facebook account and is, is just absolutely littered with what he had planned. He wanted to pet the kitty. You do not pet the kitty when the kitty happens to be a 400 pound tiger that can kill you in a matter of seconds, moron. Talk about a death wish. Oh, God! I mean, he was lucky that this tiger just simply was dragging him around for a while before zoo officials and everybody who could. I believe there was also fire uh, firemen uh, that were trying, that were basically blowing their extinguishers uh, to, to distract, get the cat to let go of him so that they could get him out of there, and he survived. This dipshit survived. Uh, the Bronx Zoo and everybody went out of their way to save this this moron who does not deserve to, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound cruel, but people like this do not deserve to live when they're this stupid. I, Villa Lobos told the police, and I quote, you'll love this, everyone in life makes choices. Yeah. David, and yours just happens to be proof positive that you belong in the ranks of the Darwin Award winners. Uh, and then this quote, despite serious injuries, he claimed that he was able to get his wish and pet the tiger. So he got what he wanted and learned nothing. He learned nothing. He got his wish. So saving him taught him nothing. He will probably do this again. That is, uh, I believe that they're going to, when he gets out of the hospital, he's going to be arrested and put behind bars. But I guarantee you, since our, uh, jur our uh, judicial system sucks a big one, he'll probably be let out long, you know, not long afterwards, and he'll, do, and he'll do something stupid again because he learned nothing. And you know what? This is becoming a trend. I Every time I go to the zoo or anywhere like that and they play a video or they have a presentation, they'll always get to that point where they say, and humans are, are on top of the food chain in the world because they have what's called, and I quote, intelligence. Is that what we call this? Intelligence? <laughs> no, humans aren't that intelligent. I call this stupid idiotic redneck syndrome because you know that there are those dumb, nitwit, backwoods people that go out, try to face a bear, like this this guy, this idiot guy who goes out and, and tries to, you know, yell and scream at a bear, and then the bear kind of backs away and, and, and moves off. And then the guy stupidly thinks, and you know that these people exist, will brag about it. He'll go to the tavern. He thinks that he was courageous and tough, and he backed down a bear. He's an idiot. People like him are idiots because these people are not as smart as the animals, okay? Bears, animals in the wild, they know that they don't have an emergency to get room to go to to save their asses when something goes wrong and they take on something that can uh, injure them, okay? Bears are smart. Animals are smart. They assess a situation. They actually use their brains, which are uh, less capable than ours, but they actually use them, unlike us humans, and they measure a situation to see if they can survive it. And if it, what are the chances of an injury? They know that an injury can lead to their death and their inability to survive out in the wild because they don't 
don't have freebies. They don't have food stamps. They don't have emergency rooms. Hell, they don't have uh, toilets, plumbing. He, they don't have HVAC. They don't have heating and air conditioning. I, oh, God, but let's go over some other situations. Take two. Smile for the camera, Mr. Polar Bear. Yeah, people seem to have a problem leaving polar bears alone at zoos. Uh, years ago, a 29-year-old uh, woman from Australia, Catherine Warburton, uh, she visited the Anchorage, Alaska Zoo and got a little too close to the polar bear enclosure. Uh, she, this is how pathetically stupid she was, jumped over two fenced barricades. So this was definitely not by accident. In fact, uh, there, there were um, witnesses who, who saw her do this, uh, bewildered at how stupid she was for doing this, and she got right next to the bars where this big polar bear was da -da 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 coming up to greet her. And she's got her camera that she's right by the bars. And, oh, dear God, the polar bear reached through the bars and grabbed a hold of her, lifted her up, and then uh, got the head, stuck the head right in, and bit down and lifted right the thigh, the, the leg, the upper thigh. And this woman is fat. She's stupid, reckless, foolish, selfish, and fat, because that seems to be the, the way things are anymore. These are the people that survive. And this 1,000-pound uh, polar bear has her by in the mouth on her leg, shaking her around like a damn uh, stuffed animal herself. I mean, she's... Ah, like, oh, God, Catherine, you survived, you stupid bitch. To this day, until the end of time, you did not deserve to survive. People like you should not be allowed to live. You went over two barricades to take a picture. I, those barricades are there for a reason. And if you watch the video, if you watch the new, because it's on YouTube, if you watch the the, the video on that, um, you can hear a man in the video, um, one of the zookeepers in the background saying, how did she get down there? <laughs> uh, because she's that stupid and she went out of her way to get down there. And when you watch this, uh, she's being interviewed when you watch the news article on her, the news story. In the interview, she says that she prayed to God to let her go and it was then that the bear let go of her. All thanks to God, huh, bitch? Not the many um, onlookers that were trying to distract the bear and hit it with branches and stuff and the, uh, and the zoo officials trying to save your worthless, useless, fat, stupid ass. It was God. She didn't learn anything. Take three. I want to swim with the polar bears. Time to dive. This wasn't the only situation involving a polar bear. In fact, a lot of these situations over the years have involved polar bear enclosures at zoos. Uh, April 2009 is another example. Uh, in the Berlin Zoo in Germany, some fat 32-year-old woman uh, literally jumped from the, uh, the concrete, you know, that wall that they have in the big, huge, like 17, 20 foot drop or whatever, 15 foot drop or what have you. Uh, she jumped right into the moat section of the polar bear enclosure and there were like three polar bears in there. And needless to say, they got her, but she lived to tell the tale. Again, these stupid people are surviving because everyone is saving their sorry hind ends. Uh, um, and the, the article here, the woman who has not been identified, hey, woo, seriously, I can't find any article that mentions her name. With this situation, April 2009, uh, 32-year-old woman in a Berlin Zoo, the polar bear moat, I can't find anything that mentions her name. Why protect the name of this stupid woman? Uh, her video, this video is all over the place. Um, 
Because you'll see them with like these type of uh, rope and makeshift, I think, like um, lifesaver or whatever that they're trying to get around her down in the moat because she was, uh, she eventually ended up near the wall where they could get to her and they're trying to pull her up and she, because she's fat, right back down in the water, right with the polar bears and they're getting her again. They're trying, it's amazing that she survived. And you will love this because it, um, yeah, you'll, this bit, she wasn't in the moat by accident. There was a fence and a hedge to climb over before she could dive in. And that's literally what she did. Like she, it, these fences and walls are there for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. And these are, this is what these people do. She climbed over and she literally took a dive into the moat with polar bears in there. Uh, there was no explanation as to what she was doing. No kidding. No rational explanation whatsoever. Conclusion. Dumb, da dum dum. Really, really dumb. Okay, the conclusion is this. I remember when I was a kid that we were uh, we were told that nature was dangerous. We were told to enjoy nature, experience nature. But we were told that nature was dangerous. All those public service announcements, announcements from all the cartoons and the and movies where you had Grizzly, Orca, uh, Jaws, you were told that nature could kill you. That nature is a wonderful playground, but it is a deadly and dangerous playground. What the Sam hell happened? We stopped teaching that. And it, people have not learned anything. Uh, I remember when, I, like, like, I believe the year was 87. It's been a long time. I was in school, and we heard about that boy that, went, that got into the polar bear enclosure, and I believe it was the Bronx Zoo, again, uh, was swimming with the polar bear, and he was eaten. The boy was killed, and I remember they killed that polar bear. But when we heard about that in school, it scared us. Okay, it left his, that boy's tragic death, as foolish as it was, where the hell were his parents, what was going on, uh, he, he died, he was eaten, because these animals can kill you, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for humanity to stop being stupid. And we're not intelligent anymore. We hit a plateau, and now we're actually de-evolving, and we're going backwards, and we need to stop doing that. And we need to honestly, and I know this sounds mean, stop saving these people, because they haven't learned anything. In, bo in those uh, situations that I explained, they haven't learned jack shit. Uh, oh, everybody, I, I don't know what to tell you. Nature can be dangerous. I... Uh, Villa Lobos, that 25-year-old moron, uh, he said that he wanted to be one with the tiger. Yeah, dude, you almost became one with the tiger. That tiger almost ate you and literally made the two of you one. Everybody have a good one.